Um, yeah, there are two things. One is the philosophy of existentialism, or existential philosophy, uh, which gives a theoretical background. People who want to, and then of course they can read the books. Uh, there is plenty of literature uh, of on existential philosophy properly or on existential aspects in psychotherapies, etc. And we have a beautiful book, the Wiley's World Handbook of Existential Therapy, where you can read for weeks in it. But in practic practically speaking, uh, to bring people closer to the existential approach means to ask them the original existential question, tell me what matters actually right now in your life? What matters? And then we have people who say, really nothing. And then we have the problem already on the table. Why isn't there a flower which touches you? Why don't you see the sunshine? Why don't you experience the pleasure of a nice rain, the freshness? Why doesn't this matter? They are already too numb, too adjusted, too bored. And then we ask them, but why are you so numbed? What happened? And so together in the dialogue, in the outer dialogue, we come closer to that what matters to them. And this may be the beginning of their inner dialogue. That they go on looking at themselves and start out of the inner dialogue, start going more into the outer dialogue. And then we are already in the midst of existential therapy, existential practice, philosophy, because existential philosophy and existential therapy turns around being able to be myself. To exist means I'm there. I'm not determined by the conditions under which I am. I'm, I'm raising myself above the conditions. Like in the evolution, the human being raised up from the four legs and is standing now on the two legs. As a human being, we have a much wider horizon and we have two legs free for decided activities, for actions. And so I exist when I detach myself from the conditions and I'm, when I'm, I'm aware, we are mostly aware in our feelings, in our sensing, that I am not determined by the situation. I may have a big problem with my partner, but I, I still can deal with it. There is a, a leeway, a space where I can act. The problem is there, a possible activity is on the other side and me, I am in between. The problem doesn't determine what I have to do. I decide what I'm going to do, if I'm negating it or talking about it or look, looking for help, etc. This is existence, this is life. To be, to be myself under the given conditions. And to be myself, of course, means first to clarify, it means can I behave in a way that I can give, say yes to that what I do? Do I say yes to go for uh, and look for help? Or do I say yes to just um, delay the work on my problem? What is the best what I can do where I resonate with it and feel yes, 
I have to care for myself first before I start to work on that problem. For instance, this is inner consent, to look for my inner consent, my inner agreement to what I do. And then, if this is difficult and I don't find it, I have, we say in extensional analysis, check the four dimensions of existence. Check if you can't find an inner consent because you have the feeling you can't bear that. It's simply, you can't accept it. It's simply too heavy, too much. You do not have the power to withstand. Check it. This is on the factual level. Check it on the uh, on the emotional level and on the level on the axiological level, on the level of values. Is it worth? What is the value in it? The value which is in danger, the value you want to protect, you want to promote. And this, what do you feel it is good to talk about the problem? When you don't have the feeling that it has a value to talk about it, forget about it, you can't do it. Check the third dimension, the being yourself. Do you feel that it, it is correct? It is right. It, it corresponds to what is important for to you, to what matters to you. Then go on and do that. And the fourth dimension, in the context in which this happens, does this have a meaning? Does this lead to something good at the end? Can I expect a good outcome? If I don't see a good outcome, it doesn't make sense and I, I, I'm not motivated to really do it. Or if I do it halfway forced to do it, then I will not be there with the full power. And then the result will be meager will be low, I will not be very effective. This is how we deal with such situations. <clears throat>